So Kelly, we're back in the uh, kitchen area. What a great kitchen. You've got lots of space back here, and we're going to have a chance to learn a little bit more about the trigger fish, which is right. a, traditionally, a, a, I feel like, an underutilized fish species, but our, I know it's one of your signature oh, recipes yeah. that we've got. Absolutely. We've got several different menu items that look yeah. like with trigger fish on the menu. Yeah. Learn to learn a little bit more about how you prepare them, and starting with the fresh product, how you clean a fresh caught trigger fish. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the process. Well, uh, I'll show you. Great. Well, I just, everybody does it different, but uh, this is how I do it. Just start at the back, cut a little line around the edge. So right there along the thin line. Yep, right along the thin line. And most of the time it cooperates with you. Coming up over that trigger. <laughs> That's yep. where the trigger fish, of course, gets its yep. name from, that dorsal fin. Yep. You've got an interesting locking mechanism where they can tuck in on an artificial reef and uh, protect themselves, locking that trigger into place. Good way to hide from predators. Just doing a good job of going right along the outside of the body. Find the edge. Get the edge around like that. Right on, one nice big piece. Okay, huh? Then I flip it over to keep it even so one side won't flip up. Do the same thing on this side. How about the scales on these fish, Kelly? Are they, they look like they've got some pretty good sized scales on them? Oh, yeah. yeah they're good sized scales, but we skin it so you don't have to scale it. Okay. So you know, great. Edge. Most of the trigger fish that you're getting in this area, are they coming from near shore water? How far off typically are they catching them? 30 to 40 miles offshore is what okay. they're doing. And about how deep of water? Um, not exactly sure. <laughs> Seems like they like those structure-oriented fish around the shipwrecks and yep. artificial reefs that we've got off our yep. coast. Absolutely. Right, we just follow the edges there. We take this and awesome. follow that up. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. That's a nice, pretty piece of meat. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. You get a lot of meat off this fish, it looks like, too. Oh, yeah. Try to utilize every little bit. Well, they're a flat, laterally compressed fish, so the fillets are really a lot larger than I thought they would have been. Yeah. How about the knives that you're using as you're cleaning the fish? How, how important is it to have really sharp knives? Oh, it's very important. Uh, I'd say you'll, you'll cut yourself with a dull knife, not a sharp knife. Okay. Okay, um, then we skin it, fillet them, then we skin it. Take, hold it back to the... Compared to other fish, do they have a pretty thick skin or are they... Yeah, oh yeah, it's light leather. Okay. Those big scales come back into play. Yep. Uh, pretty piece of meat. Oh yeah. I was reading earlier, it looks like they average about six to eight pounds. Yep, yep. These are, this is probably a medium size right here. Okay. Okay. Then what I do, a lot of people throw this piece of meat away right here. We use that for trigger bites. Right. It's a nice piece of fish. Take them over. Why would most people throw that away, in your opinion? Well, most people just cut the whole belly off. Got you. But I uh, try to utilize every little bit there is. Amen. No need in wasting if there's good meat there. That's true. Just take the edge up like that. Not a lot there. of bone there, then. Nope. Just kind of butterfly it out right there. Got you. You have a bone right down the middle. Now, so many people, when they're cleaning their own fresh catch, it seems like that they will. They want that nice piece of boneless. Yep. skinless filet. I know that's how my wife can be sometimes. She's Absolutely. very picky about when I'm cleaning it. But it's great to see that you're utilizing every piece of fish that's available there. Oh yeah. And that's really there's not a lot of bone there. When you look at what's left, there's that's not a lot of bone the, left. It's uh, all the waste there, maybe about an ounce. Wow. Same thing with the other side. It really goes to show that if you know how to clean the fish properly, you get a lot more yield out of your catch. Absolutely. That's just a real thin cut right yep. along that baseline of the bone then. Yep, just try to save it so you save every bit of the belly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From the outside, mm -hmm. either side of the bone. It's that one little slice and it removes it all. Yep. Beautiful. And there we have. So you've got two nice fillets laid out in yep. front of us and yep. a couple of pieces left for trigger bites. Yep, absolutely. I'm starting to get hungry, Kelly. 
I normally use a um, six ounce piece. So we'll throw that on there. And that's seven ounces. So I'm gonna take an ounce off of it. Of the trigger bite. From the trigger bite. Yeah. Great. Same thing with this one. Oh, that's one thing I've noticed when we come here for dinners. There's never a lack of good food on the plate. Six ounce yeah, pieces of a nice piece of fish. Oh yeah. Plenty of food. Awesome. So now we got trigger bites, two fillets out of one fish. Great. All right. So we've got a couple of different items that we can learn about now and uh, move on to presentation and cooking. All right, let's cook some.